everyone welcome back to dr jp classes i hope you all are fine friends in previous video we had discussed about how to write a research proposal and different steps of writing a research proposal but today we all are going to discuss about what to include in your research project in this video we will learn what is a research project different features of a research project structure of a research project and what to include in your research project friends this video help you a lot in your higher study so watch it till the end let's start what is a research project a research project is a completed study that reports an investigation or exploration of a problem identifies question to be addressed and includes data collected analyzed and interpreted by the researcher the researcher write a research project after the completion of study the researcher or investigator reports what he or she investigate during the time of research at first the researcher explore the problem then identifies the question and includes what type of data were collected during the time of research and analyze and interpret that data it is an important document that serves as a first hand account of the research process and it is typically considered an objective and accurate source of information it refers to a document that systematically coherently methodically presents the research work in a written form after completed the study the researcher systematically and methodically present the research work in a written form it is a scientific endeavor to answer a research question a research project determines what is researched what sources are used to collect data how the data is collected what are the findings and what are the recommendations for future research basically research project prepared after the completion of the project and deals with results of the completed research work the researcher or investigator prepare a research project after the completion of research work then features of a research project it is a detailed presentation of research processes and findings and it usually includes tables and graphs it is written in a formal language A research project is usually written in the third person. It is informative and based on first hand verifiable information. It is formally structured with headings, sections and bullet points. It always includes recommendations for future actions. In a research project, the tables and graphs are included. and it is structured with headings section and bullet points and also includes few recommendations for future actions then the structure of a research report the research report format mainly consists of three main sections first introductory section then the main body of the report then the reference section let us discuss one by one in the introductory section the researcher or investigator include title page acknowledgments table of contents list of tables if any list of figures if any then abstract title page identifies the title of the report the name of the researcher the name of the guide institution month and year of submission the title should communicate what the study is about a well constructed title makes it easy for the reader to understand and determine the nature of the topic through the title page the reader know about the name of the researcher name of the guide about the institution and also know about the month and year of submission at the same time the title page is also quite helpful for the reader to determine the nature of the topic and know what the study is about to communicate the reader the investigator should make 
a title page so a well constructed title page is essential a good project has a good title point to the aims objectives and findings of a research project it is the first thing that helps the reader begin to understand the nature of work focused informative concise highlighting the main contribution of the research work attention grabbing use the keywords and avoid ambiguous or confusing word then acknowledgments this page permits the writer to express appreciation to persons who have contributed significantly to the research in this point the investigator express their gratitude to the person those who are helped them during the time of research work then the table of contents the table of contents is an outline of the report that indicates the page number on which each major section and sub sections begins this is like a compass that makes it easier for readers to navigate the research report a compass tell the captain which direction the captain sail the boat the compass is the navigator's most important piece of equipment it indicates the direction to the navigator without it the sailor sail the boat without knowing the destination to reach the destination the compass help the sailor similarly the table of contents makes it easier for the reader to know about the outline of entire research report then list of tables a list of all the tables included in the report along with the page number should be provided like the list of tables list of figures included in the report along with the page number should be provided then abstract an abstract is an overview that highlights all important aspects of the research including the type of participants and instruments outline the research method data collection process and research findings and conclusions it is a brief but comprehensive summary of the research report it includes a concise statement of the goal of the research abstract must be limited to a specific number of words usually between 100 and 500 words and goes straight to the point the focus of your research abstract should be the 5 w's and 1 h the 5 w's are what where why when how and 1 h format that is how in the abstract section the researcher or investigator highlights all important aspects it is a brief but comprehensive summary of the research report in the research abstract the investigator or researcher should give importance to 5 w's and 1 h what is the study about what type of data is required what periods of time will the study include what will be the sample design what techniques of data collection will be used in what style will the report be prepared then where will the study be carried out where can be the required data found then why is the study being made when you completed the project who will be involved in the study and how will the data be analyzed how does the proposed research related to the existing knowledge in the area all are discussed in abstract section then after that three or four important keywords should be included in the abstract section after the introductory section the other section of research project is the main body of the report the main body of the report is the heart of the research project the sub points of the main body of the report introduction review of related literature design of the study analysis of data results and discussion summary and conclusions then recommendations for further investigation for making a quality research project all the sub points are important and all the points are logically arranged let's discuss one by one while writing a research report the researcher 
also give importance to all the sub points in the introductory section the introduction begins with a description of statement of the problem significance of the problem purpose of research project objectives of the research research question statement of hypothesis then scope and limitations and definition of important terms the researcher should include all the points in the introduction section to make a good research project to introduce to the reader the first step of research project is statement of the problem start with a general statement of the problem or issues make sure the problem is restricted in scope then make sure the context of the problem is clear at first the researcher should provide clear idea about the topic then the researcher provide why this topic is significant significance of the problem provide the theoretical framework of the study within which the research has been conducted then background information of the topic as well as the need for and rational of the research to make the material more logical useful and interesting for readers then provide justification for the research to be conducted and motivates to conduct the proposed research in this section the investigator provide the theoretical framework of the study and provide background information of the topic use the material in logical manner provide justification for the research to be conducted and do their best to make the research report useful and interesting for the readers then what is the purpose of research project the main purpose of research project is to make the reader to understand what you are going to do then rational of the research then objectives of the research research is an organized investigation of a problem where an investigator attempts to gain solution to a problem in order to get the right solution a clearly defined objectives are very important a clearly defined objective directs a researcher in the right direction without a clear objective a researcher is aimless and directionless in conducting the study without focused objectives no replicable scientific findings can be expected basically the objectives provide direction to the researcher so clearly defined objectives are very important for any type of research project the objective should be based on declarative statement provides direction to investigate the variables under the study the objective of research project summarizes what is to be achieved by the study and the objectives include obtaining answer to research questions or testing the research hypothesis a well known objectives will be smart format s for specific m for measurable a for attainable r for realistic and t for time bound the researcher should frame the objectives to answer the research question and the objectives are quite helpful for testing the hypothesis then research questions the research questions should show clearly the relationship of the proposed research with the field of study then involve the search for relationship between two or more variables is well defined and more focused and it will mean that your research consists of trying to answer the question should be able to tell the reader what actually you are looking in particular distinguish between your research question and what it is that you will research and make sure the research questions provide a framework for reporting the results and discussion later the researcher should frame questions that should be well defined and more focused and should involves the search for relationship between two or more variables and the research questions are quite helpful for the investigator for reporting the results and for the further discussion
then statement of hypothesis a research hypothesis is a statement of expectation or prediction that will be tested by research if you want to test a relationship between two or more variables you need to write hypothesis before you start your experiment or data collection hypothesis means tentative solution of the problem and it is the statement of expectation or prediction test a relationship between two or more variables so the researcher should write hypothesis before the experiment or data collection then scope and limitations scope and limitations provide the area or scope that will be considered in the proposed research and justification why it is being considered it describes the extent of the study that is actual place where the study will only be conducted then duration of the conduct of the study then inclusion of the study only specific aspect of the study then limit of the number of respondents and also based on area limit here the researcher provide area or actual place where the study will be conducted then duration of the study and provide clear idea about the number of respondents at the same time also describe the area limit and provide justification why this topic is selected as a research topic then definition of important terms it also includes definition of important terms here the researcher usually clarifies and define the variable under investigation the definition must specify how the variable will be observed and measured in actual research situation the definition of important terms or keywords help other researcher it is the essence of the research paper when the researcher or investigator define the important terms it also quite helpful to other researcher to know about the particular research at the same time it also helpful for the investigator to know about their own research project and it clarifies the researcher know about the different variables that comes under the particular investigation at the same time the investigator know about the actual research situation that's all for today's video rest part of what should you include in your research project we will discuss in part 2 friends if my video provides you little bit information then do like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notification when the new videos are uploaded thank you for watching have a nice day